Given an angle, find the corresponding point on the unit circle. To find the corresponding point, we sketch the angle in standard position and determine where the terminal side of the angle intersects the unit circle. This is an important skill to learn because we can use the points on the unit circle to determine the six trig function values as defined here below. To sketch an angle in standard position, the initial side is always along the positive x-axis, and then if the angle is positive, we rotate counterclockwise. If the angle is negative, we rotate clockwise. And most unit circles do have the angles labeled from zero to two pi radians, but it normally doesn't have negative angles labeled. Our first angle is three pi divided by four radians, or three fourths pi radians. So starting along the positive x-axis, we need to rotate counterclockwise three-fourths pi radians, and therefore the terminal side is here, again rotating counterclockwise from the initial side. Notice how the unit circle also shows the angle in degrees. The corresponding point on the unit circle for three-fourths pi radians is negative square root two divided by two, comma positive square root two divided by two. Now that we know this point, we could find these six trig function values using this point when theta is 3 fourths pi radians. The next angle is 4 thirds pi radians. The initial side is along the positive x-axis, and now we rotate counterclockwise 4 thirds pi radians to here, which notice is the same as 240 degrees. So the corresponding point on the unit circle for 4 thirds pi radians is negative 1 half comma negative square root 3 divided by 2. The next angle is 11 6 pi radians, or 11 pi divided by 6 radians. We have the initial side rotating counterclockwise. The terminal side is going to be here. The corresponding point on the unit circle is positive square root 3 divided by 2 comma negative 1 half. And now let's take a look at three negative angles. Here we have negative pi divided by two radians, or negative one half pi radians. Well, notice how positive pi divided by two radians is equal to 90 degrees, and therefore because this angle is negative, we need to rotate clockwise 90 degrees, or clockwise pi over two radians. So the initial side is here. If we rotate clockwise pi over two radians, the terminal side would be along the negative y-axis, again with a clockwise rotation, of pi over two radians. So this is the angle at negative pi over two radians in standard position. The corresponding point on the unit circle is the point zero comma negative one. Next we have negative five thirds pi radians. Notice how positive five thirds pi radians is equal to 300 degrees, and therefore to sketch this angle in standard position, we need to rotate clockwise 300 degrees or clockwise five-thirds pi radians. So the initial side is here. We rotate clockwise five-thirds pi radians, or 300 degrees. Then the terminal side is going to be here. Notice negative five-thirds pi radians is coterminal to pi divided by three radians. Or we can say negative 300 degrees is coterminal with 60 degrees. Either way, the terminal side intersects the unit circle at the point one half comma square root three divided by two. The last angle is negative nine fourths pi radians, which is more challenging. If we needed to, we can always convert two degrees. Negative nine fourths pi radians is equal to negative 405 degrees, which is equal to negative 360 degrees minus 45 degrees. So one way to graph the angle would be to rotate one complete rotation clockwise for negative 360 degrees, and then for negative 45 degrees or minus 45 degrees, we would rotate another 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. But let's also show how to do this using radians. Let's write negative 9 fourths pi radians as negative 8 fourths pi radians minus 1 fourth pi radians. Notice this is still negative 9 fourths pi radians, but negative 8 fourths pi is equal to negative 2 pi, and therefore we can write this as negative 2 pi radians minus 1 fourth pi radians. 
we'll notice the negative two pi is the same as negative 360 degrees. And the minus one fourth pi, or minus pi over four, is the same as minus 45 degrees. So either way, to graph the angle in standard position, the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and then we have one complete rotation in the clockwise direction for the negative two pi, or negative 360 degrees, and then another rotation of one fourth pi radians in the clockwise direction for negative one fourth pi radians, or 45 degrees in the clockwise direction for negative 45 degrees. Either way, the terminal side is here for the given angle, and therefore the corresponding point on the unit circle is positive square root two divided by two, comma, negative square root two divided by two. I hope you found this helpful.